Hi, I'm Jason Halliker, and welcome to the third and final episode of the Fish Hatchery series documenting how we raise trout in Virginia. Now, if you watched the first and second episode, you saw how we hatched the trout, fed them, cared for them, cleaned up after them, all the work. Today, we're going to go over the best part, stocking them for you. So let's head on down to the hatchery building and load up the trucks. Once the trucks are filled, we pull up to the ponds to net out the fish. Typically, we shoot for 80% of the load to contain 10 to 12 inch fish, with the remaining 20% made up of trophy sized fish. This can vary slightly depending on time of year, water levels, and other variables. Each net is weighed before it is dumped into the tank, so we can calculate an accurate estimate of how many fish are headed to the lake or stream. Once we have the trucks loaded with fish, we check them to make sure they're all looking okay. And we run uh, agitators to bleed off the CO2 off the trucks to make sure there's no buildup on our way to where we're stocking. Each of the trucks has uh, oxygenation capabilities on them. Our, most of our trucks here at Corsi Springs run uh, liquid oxygen, which really allows us to make sure the fish stay healthy on their way to the creeks and usually the driver will stop at least once. It depends on the distance to the creek and to check the health of the fish and just make sure they're ready to go once we get to the stream to stock. What we want to do is stock the healthiest fish that we can. We won't feed fish for at least two days prior to stocking to make sure that there's no feed in the system. They don't haul well if we feed them. They'll poop in the tanks and then the fish get sick. So most any of the fish that we stock out of here aren't fed anywhere from two to four days prior to being stocked. Before the trout even hit the water, fish stocking starts right here in the office. A tremendous amount of planning and coordination goes into stocking the waters of the Commonwealth. We stock 200 plus lakes and streams over 2,000 times between October and June throughout the state. We have to make sure that the fish are meeting our standards, the stream or lake conditions are right, enough manpower is present, and traffic control is available from our conservation police officers. There are a lot of balls in the air. Once we get to the water, we do our best to spread the fish out where it is safe to access the stream. It's important to remember that we can only carry fish around 50 yards before they start to suffer. The reason we throw the trout in is to jolt them awake and get them swimming. We want the trout to spread out and find hiding places as soon as possible. And don't worry if you can't make it to the water the day of stocking. Recent surveys have shown that anglers experience a slightly higher catch rate the day after stocking compared to the day of. It's stressful for a trout to adjust to their new home. Sometimes it takes a day or so before they finally turn on and bite. For me, fishing for stock trout forged a lifetime passion for conservation, protecting water quality, and connecting people with the outdoors. Now is the perfect time to take someone trout fishing. Remember to pick up your trout license and your freshwater fishing license before you go because those licenses fund these programs. Thanks for watching and remember to go outdoors, Virginia.